I didn't shrink the Republican majority. George Santos shrunk it by his actions. Uh, he was unfit to serve in Congress. Uh, I'm sorry, you have to have standards uh, in the halls of Congress. Uh, and so I don't regret voting to expel George Santos. Uh, he was unfit to serve. Uh, and sometimes these decisions are bigger than politics. Uh, and look, we are still in a majority. George Santos was a con man and a crook and shouldn't have been a member of Congress. There are a lot of decisions that have occurred these last couple of months that have shrunk the majority. Perhaps George Santos being honest would have kept uh, one more seat uh, here in, in Congress. I think the American people see a certain dysfunction to our body right now. I don't see it as a dysfunction. I, I, this is the way that we do function to get the things that we want that the American people want. And if it takes more work, more conversation, and yes, some raised voices sometimes, so be it. If he was found guilty, then yeah, he should remove himself from Congress. And if he wouldn't remove himself, then the chamber would have a responsibility to do that. But to preempt that, to score political points, was stupid. We made a tactical error um, on George Santos. You know, it's a, the Democrats are playing chess and we're playing checkers. About last night was really about, you know, the stupidity of expelling George Santos. I think we should have let the people of New York speak on Santos.